and here we are at Gardens by the Bay for dinner. Hello! Oh, chicken and rice. Nom nom nom. And what were you saying before? About chicken and rice? It's the only thing you'll find in Singapore. <laughs> oh, soup. Nice. With beef. With beef. And what? is spectacular. All right, let me help them take a proper family photo. Oh, we got a water bender here. Look out, everyone. Oh, look at that. You're making the water come down. <laughs> All righty. This is really cool, isn't it? And it's really cold. Really cold! Whoa! Is it like a new camera? I could do no, my camera's fine. I could really do with one of these in my backyard though. Oh. This is really cool. Maybe there's avatars in this. All right, I'm assuming that we can go up there. Otherwise, what is the point, hey? Let's go up there and have a look. It's actually foggy. It's very foggy, isn't it? Mm. Oh, ho, ho. there's a dragon. No, I have my eyes closed, Flynn. Just look at it, it's so foggy. Yo, ho. where are you, Flynn? I can't see you, it's too foggy. Where are you, Flynn? Flynn, I can't see you through the fog. No, Flynn, I've lost Flynn, no. Oh, there you are, hi. <laughs> wow. That is, yeah, that's super cool. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Well, there you go, two bucket lists done at one time. Singapore and Machu Picchu. I guess I don't have to go to Peru anymore. There we go, done. So cool. So, so cool guys. Hopefully this is coming out as well in the camera that it is in my eyeballs, because uh, this is pretty bonkers. This place, man, is definitely magical. <laughs> um, I don't even know if we have anything like this in Australia. Um, in Adelaide, we've got what's called the Bicentennial Conservatory, but it's more of a humid uh, kind of conservatory than uh, this really cool rainforest. Um, I mean, definitely don't have anything where you can go up there um, that's just 
<laughs> All right, now we are this time definitely heading up to the boardwalk to have a look down and around, upwards and onwards. Wow. More stars. Yep. Oh wow, this is super cool. Can't really go anywhere around here without seeing that thing. Uh, well, uh, this is higher than the observatory, my goodness. I am definitely feeling vertigo up here. This place is just an incredible feat of engineering. And for someone like me who's deathly afraid of Afraid of heights? Uh, <laughs> uh, there's really nothing moving, and let's go over there a bit more. <laughs> upside down, upside down. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm staying right in the middle. Okay, I changed my mind because, you know, content. Like, wow. And really, one of the only things keeping us safe here is a thin little bar attached to the ceiling up there. <laughs> and a few of these large beams coming from the superstructure in the middle there. Which goes even further to the top of the ceiling. This place is just incredible. Fully air conditioned, so it's like a beautiful 20 degrees in here. And just the technology in the gardens itself, incredible. All right, finally caught back up with the fam. We're gonna head downstairs and check out the waterfall and wow that really does look incredible in fact let's get that in slow motion And look at this, there's nowhere that Disney doesn't go. Big National Geographic logo there. <laughs> Let's go into National Geographic. Weird but true. Oh. 
Let me give that another go, Alex. I think you can do better. Oi, there you go. Now what does it say, Alex? A kangaroos? can jump more than nine meters. So kangaroo can jump from here. And in between here, it's like, try to walk through a tight squeeze. Um, this is about the size you get on a uh, Qantas economy flight. So, you know, I'm kind of used to fitting into this space. And that just makes me sad. <laughs> I mean, I've spent most of my life in an area where it doesn't snow and since experiencing it, I don't think I can not go too much longer without experiencing it each winter for much longer. That is crazy as well. Only 27 times. Okay. I don't think we can actually even see anything other than my bow patch. Hey guys, it's Luke, and Luke, and Luke, and Luke, there's so many of me! Hi! It's a little something here for the Rocky Horror Picture Show fans. Alright, and after that short intermission, it's time for the treetop walk. Now this place is now closing in about 15 minutes, so it's going to be a quick meander above the trees, but still, I'm sure It's going to be a fantastic one. All right, let's do it. It's uh, pretty remarkable what they can do here when they have the wheel. Like, wow. <laughs> this is pretty incredible. Sadly, I only brought my low light 24 mil lens. Kind of wish I did bring my wide angled lens because just even in my peripheral, this place just engulfs you in just something to see absolutely everywhere you look. It's incredible. Like we were up there just before looking down and it just, just this, you just don't get the majesty and the scope of this man-made paradise, unfortunately. But if anything, um, if not the full awe of this place, it gives you a bit of a taste to actually want to come back and experience these things yourself firsthand. Um, I definitely know that in the future, this is definitely a place that I want to come back and explore again, probably in a little less of a hurry and, you know, see what difference it makes doing it in the daytime as well. So there's that. Um, and here we are, back through the weird but true. All right, heading back down now to the next level.
systems do make it. Up to 550 million people. That brings us to the end of our adventure here at the Cloud Forest here at Gardens by the Bay in Singapore. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick browsing through the lush and beautiful gardens presented in this epically constructed and beautifully air-conditioned garden. It is just spectacular to behold lion door hi there <laughs> well until next time guys au revoir